Today, we will talk about the Scottish colorist artist John Duncan Ferguson. He decided to move to Paris in 1907, where he became a member of the Parisian art circles, to which artists such as Matisse and Picasso also belonged. In fact, it is in the French capital that Ferguson met the American sculptor Joe Davidson, who encouraged a young artist to experiment in various mediums. In the 1910s, he started to create a series of sculptures in stone, bronze, brass and wood, which were inspired by the female body. In 1922, when Ferguson was in Antibes, he bought a wooden baton which would be the base of the sculpture he completed in 1924. The statue was titled Dryad, meaning Tree Spirit, and it is the first of a series of images exploring Ferguson's belief of a spiritual bond between nude and nature. It is said that its similarity to a climbing plant derives from the one which was given to Ferguson by the famous Glaswegian architect and designer Charles Rennie Mackintosh. This artwork is characterized by the elongation of the body, a feature that is typical of primitive art, a term used by Westerners to identify African art. At the start of the 20th century, art historians began to see African artworks not only as ethnographic objects, which was the result of colonialism, but also as aesthetic objects. Many artists at the time, like Paul Gauguin, Pablo Picasso and Amedeo Modigliani, were interested in and were influenced by African art, not only because of its new style, but also because of its connection to the imaginary and mystical, which intensified the object's expressive power. The key ideas that African art brings to Western avant-garde are the interest in abstraction and the reorganization of forms in order to move beyond the naturalism that predominated since the Renaissance.